Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Europa Universe House 4 as we are playing as Italy in the Emperor Expansion. So you may notice we now have Great Britain. So England has formed Great Britain. Uh, another thing is that here in the Great Power list, we are number three. I think the last time we looked, we were number five. Uh, so we have moved up quite a bit in this. Uh, and you'll see that Spain's number one and France is number two. Great Britain's right behind us at number four, while the Ottomans are five. And it's kind of surprising when you look at Italy and the size of us uh, that we are number three. I guess we're pretty far away from, from France and Spain. But yeah, it's just because we have so much development in such a small area. We're not really that large of a country when you really think about it. But, uh, you know, we have such high development in this area that you wouldn't be able to tell. Uh, so I think we already have, like, all the manufacturers outside of grain provinces, which I don't really see the, the point of doing that. They don't really earn much money. It takes forever to earn back the money you spend on it, and I just don't think it would be a wise investment. As far as other buildings to, to get, uh, there's really not much here, guys, that's going to get us good money. What we could do is save up a ton of money to improve our centers of trade. Uh, those are It's kind of an expensive thing to do. Oh, yes, we were also going to build a fort here. I did forget about that. Let's go and get that fort built in here now. Oh, that's right, we don't have any uh, space there. So we'd actually need to improve the development here just a little bit first. All right, we'll do one more here. All right, excellent. So that'll get us up to enough where we have room for a building. So let's go and get a fort going here. So I didn't forget that I wanted to do that. But yeah, we have the fort there now. I believe there shouldn't be a hole here anymore. Uh, because of uh, us owning this province, this fort should be able to cover this area, so we shouldn't have any issues uh, with people pushing through here. Might not need that fort anymore. Just taking a look at our current fort situation, uh, we'd have to pay for all the forts to be able to see this. So what if I just turn this back on real quick, activate all forts just so that we could take a look. Uh, we'd have to wait. There we go. Just temporarily kind of see how this looks here and which provinces are covered and which ones aren't. So right now, everything is covered with the exception of these two provinces here. And that one there, which we're building a new fort for. Uh, so I, I don't think that this is that big of a deal. Do I would like to have a fort on this side to kind of block people from going over this way here. Uh, and we don't really need this fort here anymore, because remember, the only province that this fort is covering that isn't already being covered, I guess there's uh, two of them, is these two right here. Uh, but yeah, I'd prefer to have a fort along here somewhere. Maybe... Let me see how the best way this is. These two are already being covered. And this one's covered as well. There's really not any reason to build any more fort. But I meant once we take this territory here, we'd probably want to, to get a fort somewhere. Maybe right there. All that would have some overlap. That's just the way Italy is, though. You're going to have some overlap with your fortifications. Uh, but yeah, we can go to get rid of this fort, guys. I don't see any reason to have it here. It's just costing us money. So let's get rid of it. And then we're going to go ahead and mothball the forts again. All right, excellent. Uh, so, I don't know how we keep having eight cardinals. I don't, it feels like, are we losing cardinals? Because we, we just consistently are being told we have eight cardinals now. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. It seems like we're losing them and then getting them right back or something. There is a crusade here. Interesting that the Austrians have called. All right, we don't, yeah, we're not gonna spend any more, uh, any more of our papal influence here any anymore, guys. Uh, local fortification expert has been found, and I always really like this one, since it does result in you getting that uh, permanent local defensiveness. That's for the rest of the game. So yeah, I always go for that one, just because, you know, why wouldn't you? Now given, if you do destroy the fort there, uh, then yeah, that bonus wouldn't have any effect. Uh, we did finish up their conversion there, that also gives us papal influence, so that's nice. Uh, and then we can also invest into military drill and get that increased morale. So that's big for us because we've seen in the wars against France that we have had just far too low morale, frankly. Oh yes, that's right, I forgot we are gonna go to war with these guys. Uh, I completely forgot we were going to war with them. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, I mean, it's probably good that we burn off some of the aggressive expansion, I suppose. And the Hungarians still aren't, you know, not even close to being out of debt, so it's not a problem that we waited longer. But yeah, I did forget that we were gonna do this. So let's go ahead and, uh, Get this started guys so we're not going to unmothball all forts i don't see any purpose of that although they're just going to unmothball them all anyways we will build i guess it doesn't really matter they don't have an army do they yeah we're gonna have to fight those rebels there's really no way around that yeah we're gonna just have to fight them we already had the army maintenance put up yeah my bad guys i'm paying for them the whole time and this was unnecessary 
I'm going to keep an army here in the north. We'll just bring two down south. That's going to be plenty enough. And we'll see if there's anything else we want to do here. Uh, see if there's any more ships we can build. There are. Um, we already have... I think these guys are no longer mothballed, right? Yeah, they're not mothballed. So I did all this last episode and then completely forgot that we were going to declare war here in the beginning. Uh, so that's my bad, guys. Uh, let me see here. Oh, well, we have a trade ship here not doing anything. Okay, let's go ahead and have them protect trade somewhere. See where the most money is going to be. It looks like it will still be in Alexandria, so we'll send them over there. I don't know if our fleets are set to return home. We don't need them to return home. We should be okay. And where are they at? They're right here. All right, so yeah, none of them are set to return home. Excellent. So uh, let's go ahead and I think we can declare it. We know what? Yeah, we can declare war now. We could wait for these guys to get down here, but let's just make it happen now. And we're going to go after Ancona here. Although, we probably want to go after the one that's like the most expensive. I don't know how many provinces we're going to take. Yeah, Ancona would probably be the best one. We could have to go after Naples. I don't think we'll be able to go down that far. I think there'd be too much aggressive expansion to be had. So let's go after Ancona. We'll bring Savoy in. And, yeah, we'll not consider them a belligerent. So again, this should be a really easy conflict. Essentially, all we have to do is fight the rebels. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like we've already destroyed one of their ships. We do need to get our ship out. We need to slow this down a bit as well. All right, so Savoy has already come over here and is uh, engaging their fleets. We'll bring ours on over there. And they did. we did sink another one of their light ships. Excellent. And I suppose we'll bring them here. Since he'll be forced out there now, there should be... Well, there may not. He's already retreating. So we'll go back here then. Uh, because remember, we're going to need their assistance here with the Siege of Nables. Let's go ahead and start taking these provinces now. And... Looks like there was a little battle over here that we lost, unfortunately. Alright, well, let's go ahead and bring our fleet on over there then. I'll try and get there fleet destroyed. Uh, we do need to stop paying for all of our fortifications. What we'll do is we'll just uh, mothball all of them and then fortify the ones that they might attack though. That's probably fairly unlikely. Alright, so going to take the fort there. Uh, looks like we are engaged in this battle here now. I think we're there. No, we are not. I was going to say we don't have very many ships there. And this is against their main fleet here. Uh, and you can see that the rebels are going to probably continue moving around being an issue. We'll attack them last, I suppose. Uh, so we did finish up that battle, uh, and we only sunk a light ship. The rest of their ships were able to escape, unfortunately. Uh, we took a little bit of damage here. Not enough to warrant going back home, though. Uh, so we'll come over here and help out with this siege so we can get it done a little bit quicker. All right, excellent. So again, this should be a pretty easy conflict. We'll have to keep our army together just until we get the damn uh, rebels destroyed, which I'm going to kind of slowly get down there. It's fine. It's fine. We'll probably take a little bit more attrition, but it's not like manpower is an issue. And plus, you got uh, the Venetians and Savoy coming in here with their troops as well. They actually do have a little bit of an army here. Uh, okay, let's see what they do with it. I'm going to move over to here. Still trying to get that fort done. Fort, negative 14% right now for it. Uh, let's see what this event is about. Oh, and we had it plain. Failure to see this through lies as a failure. Okay, we'll just have to take the trade efficiency monitor. I don't really want to do the corruption. You lose so much money. Corruption's really expensive to take down, honestly. Although we do have a nice little modifier here. We're able to do it pretty quick because of our ahead of time penalty, uh, bonuses. So we could probably take it down fairly quick. Uh, would likely only take us about four years, but still, four years of paying for that. And I need not even take that. It might be about three years. Oh, we would get rid of our trader though. Okay, I didn't think about that. Which I don't know that he's cheaper. Yeah, I don't think he's cheaper. We're paying full cost for him. But yeah, that'd be 20% drop in trade efficient total. We'll just say this. That's fine. I wasn't going to do that. We'll just have to pay for it. Uh, it does, again, does cost a bit of money here to get that take down, but it does look like we're able to get that done fairly quickly. Yeah, we should be able to take this down here in less than a year if we pay all that money for it. Uh, so we have occupied another province. Yeah, I don't. I think we should just go ahead and get this damn war uh, finished up here. Though that's not really the best general for doing so. Oh, this one doesn't even have a leader. Oh, psh. 
I forgot that he didn't have a leader. So that's why this is taking so damn long. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna move him here. So that I can move the other army out. And we'll move the guy with no leader over to here. Yeah, and that'll speed up the siege quite a bit. So let's go and give him a leader. Although we could just assign him from the other army. Uh, we'll just keep three leaders at all times, I guess. This guy's not very good. Uh, yeah, he's not very good at all. Uh, so what we might want to go ahead and do is move him. Move this guy. And then we'll move this guy here. And does he need to drill and all? We can drill him while he's being paid for. Might as well. Alright, so this is our fairly decent general here. Uh, I don't think he's quite as good as this guy. Oh, no, no. This is the better guy. Alright, so this is what we're going to want to attack that rebel army with. Uh, unfortunately, they are in a, a mountain province. Maybe we should just avoid that and wait until they go somewhere a little bit easier. Yeah, I suppose that's what we'll do. Uh, there's the, the Naples army here as well that needs to get taken out. We'll see what they do. I do expect them to go after Savoy's army there. Yeah, they're able to wipe them out very quickly. We'll see what they do here again. We want to attack them in a place that's easier. The mountains is a terrible place for us to attack them. And I'd really like for them to battle each other, honestly. I think we will end up having to fight that army because I think they're going to... Yeah, we should be able to catch them here. This is a good place to catch them. There might be a river penalty. I don't know. No. Uh, so, yeah, should be able to get an easy battle against Naples' army here. And we did completely destroy them. Excellent. So do we want to attack here uh, against this army? Let's just take a look and see if uh, we can avoid the river penalty. We could, but we'd have to attack from right here. So yeah, we could go and avoid the river penalty and get these guys uh, uh, finally destroyed. I, yeah, I guess we'll go into that. Although I'm not able to move. Here we go. Wasn't working there for a second. All right, the Siege of Naples is done. Let's come down this way now. And this shouldn't be too difficult of a conflict, so I'm not gonna send all of our troops there. Oops, damn it. Hey, we'll just send just one army, that's fine. As soon as they finish up with this siege here, we'll send them after that rebellion. Get them wiped out so we can take all of their territory, because I want to get as much as I can, you know, based on our aggressive expansion, of course. And it doesn't look like we're gonna need to split our army up into a bunch of into a bunch of troops. Uh, it does seem that they've taken one province here, but then that's just because it doesn't have a fort, and Savoy is currently taking their fort. I would really like to give that province to Savoy, so we're gonna try and do that, and and that would cost war score, uh, but it wouldn't cost us any aggressive expansion; it just cost them aggressive expansion. So pretty good casualty number there. And yeah, we are just about done here. A couple more provinces at this point. Uh, we're stuttering over my words here, excuse me. I meant to say there is a rebellion over here that the Venetians are dealing with. Uh, we don't even have any transport ships to get over there, so I don't think there's gonna be anything I'm gonna be able to do about it. Because uh, yeah, we could bring one, one unit. We have one transport ship sitting here. I never did build up a transport fleet because up to this point we haven't needed one. Uh, not at all. Maybe we should build some, I don't know. I mean, you'd have 3,000. I mean, you'd have to have at least... I mean, just to deal with this, we'd have to have, like, 10 ships, probably. And we're not getting that anytime soon, so I guess it's not really a, uh, a rush. We could build a, another army, uh, but what I'm thinking about doing, because I, I do be, believe we have room in most of the places we're fighting in, maybe not. But I'm thinking about increasing our army sizes up to 25,000 for each army. And they would probably just give them artillery, more cannons. Since they only have 5,000 cannons right now. Yeah, and there's really no reason to have these guys here anymore. Let's just bring them back up to here, I suppose. And yeah, we'll get this done with just these armies here. We're going to go ahead and bring the fleet over to here so that we'll... Uh, when we take that province, we'll have the ability to destroy these guys. We'll attack across here. It's going to be a river penalty, but it's a thousand dudes, so it won't be too difficult. And just speed this up a little bit here. And looks like we did 
engage them in a battle there. Okay. Uh, and we did take a little bit of damage here, and it seems that we captured some ships too. Okay, that's what happened. Uh, we captured two more light ships. Okay, I feel like our army is, or excuse me, our navy has already got enough light ships, so we're just gonna go ahead and dis disband these. I don't know if we would get anything from it. Yeah, we'll just disband these guys. I don't see any reason to keep keep them. Uh, light ships are pretty bit easy and cheap to build any damn way. Uh, so we did get here just in time. Uh, we didn't capture any ships. We did sink all 14 of the galleys, so Naples no longer has a fleet. It's going to take this last province, and we'll bring our ships out here, and hopefully it's been enough time. Yeah, they'll have a little bit of morale, so we should be able to sink some of those now. And we did sink... Uh, we did capture a couple of those. Actually, we captured two of their transport ships. Okay, I guess that's a sign uh, that we need to build our transport fleet up. Uh, so I don't know where they're going to go next. Uh, I don't think they have anywhere to hide out now. All right, so let's go ahead and bring our fleet back home. I don't need them anymore. We're going to bring these guys as well. Bring them back over here to Roma for right now. And we could also... I guess we could start building up those troops now if we wanted to. Uh, we're sitting on a ton of money. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and get these all up to 25,000. Just get them with a bit more cannons. It's, it's going to be all cannons that we build here. Now cannons are starting to get a bit better. They're still not quite there where they're where they're great, but yeah. Remember, they do fire from the back line, so they're pretty useful to have. Uh, so let's go ahead and get 3,000 for each army. Okay, excellent. Man, that was even barely even a fraction of the money that we had to spend. So let's go and see if there's anything else to get as far as the buildings go. Uh, there, I mean, there's always manpower. We can always get more manpower, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, again, that's not really what what I want. Is there anything? Yeah, there actually is a manufacturer we can get. We'll get that there. Oh yes, I forgot we were trading, uh, saving up to increase the size of the center of trade here. So right now it's a level two. Uh, we can't upgrade or downgrade while we're at war, so we can't even see what the cost is. I want to say I looked at it a while back and it was like 1400 or something like that, so it's pretty expensive. It's not its not a cheap thing to do. Not at all. And so we got some peace, officer, peace offers, which we will decline. And we do have full 100% war score here. We'll see if uh, how we want to do this. Uh, so I, I want to say if we have these guys get annexed here, which I don't even know if they want it. Uh, I don't want to make this into a core. I want to select it for Savoy. Did they give it? Yeah, they gave it to us. Uh, they must not be interested in it. So let me try transferring it over to them. And seeing if, I mean, they're not happy about it. Uh, but yeah, we'd want to give it to them. And then it should end up resulting in, yeah, uh, all the costs going to them. So yeah, we'll give that to Savoy, so we won't have to worry about them anymore. We can go ahead and get any money, too, that they have to give us. And there we go. Uh, so they've been annexed. And now it's just about Naples, and uh, we do have to wait a minute. And we'll just see how much we can get from them, uh, and how much aggressive expansion this is going to cause. So, so far, nobody to worry about, so we can keep on taking territory. Uh, we probably can't take Naples, though, without having some... Well, maybe not. Yeah, that is not anybody to worry about, just the Hungarians. I'm waiting for when France is willing to join this. And yeah, you got the Papal State. So I think that's one too much. So we'd want to go like this here. And this gives us Naples, which is very, very nice. Uh, we're going to get very high overextension as well, so that's going to cause us some problems. But uh, overall, yeah, this is good. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Uh, we'll go see if there's anything else we can do here. Uh, force them to end a rivalry. You can have them return cores, of course. Could have them revoke some of the cores they currently have. Uh, it'll always be an option, or we could just get some war reparations, which is always nice to have. I like having some money. Force them to give up all their claims. Uh, we'll have them revoke cores, though, I think. On any provinces that we own. That they have cores on. I'm surprised they actually have cores on all this. But yeah, we'll go ahead and do it as high as we can. We should be able to do a full 100%, or close to 100%, when you add in the money. Yeah, there we go. All right, excellent. So got a ton of stuff here. Uh, again, we might want to go and take a look at the fort situation uh, and see 
if we want to keep a four in Naples. Naples is not very high uh, development. I guess it would cover quite a few provinces, though. I guess it covers all these. The problem here, though, is uh, we don't have we have this whole coast here that isn't being covered. Uh, this entire coastline, I think, is it's not covered at all. So that is a problem. And does I mean? I guess it, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, let's go and get these cores done real quick. I'm looking at it here. So get that done. But yeah, we're we're gonna want to Charlie change this fort up. Uh, this covers a total of four provinces. If we put it here, then like we we're just to move it over here, then you're in the mountains. While well, this one's in farmlands, and it covers a lot more provinces. Uh, it covers one. This one's already covered, so that one doesn't count. So it covers one, two, th three, four. So it covers four instead of just three. So one more extra province, I suppose. So yeah, I, I'm, I think that's what we'll likely do is build it right there. I like the fact that it's in the mountains there. I was going to build right here because this one's in the mountains as well. Uh, but this one only covers these two that aren't being covered since we have that one in Rome. So yeah, that's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and destroy the castle there. And we will need to build this up a bit apparently. And we have a shipyard here. That gives us more on our naval force limit. I suppose we'll keep that there. Uh, we'll just have to build the development up a little bit here and then we'll build the fort there uh, we could go ahead and get stop paying for all of our forts now mothball mall and then we're also going to probably want to start either drilling or not paying for our troops we'll go and drill them and just until they're at maximum again some of these guys are pretty damn close these guys are already there so we can go ahead and stop paying for the military now Gonna check the army maintenance down. Uh, we could go ahead and stop paying for the fleet here, Moth Bomb. Uh, we do have the two, so we need to switch this off. Get these guys going over to here. And then, yeah, just go ahead and mothball this. And we'll mothball those two. So we're up to three transport ships. Let's go ahead and merge those. All right. Excellent. Uh, and we are cur currently earning 117. Good God. Some of those are spoils from war though, so yeah, once you, you take that down, we're at 49.49, we're at so actually a little bit less than what we were at before, probably because we're paying for, for our military. Uh, and we have all these troops as well. I didn't forget about this. So let's go ahead and get these guys moving in here. They're gonna want to merge, or they can't move right now. They have too low of morale. Huh, is that because we're not, no, we, yeah, it's because we're not paying for them probably. Maybe if we wait this one more month out, we'll be able to move them. There we go. All right, so it's gonna move all of these guys here. All right, so get everybody going in here and then merge them and drill. And this would require us to drill everybody now since those guys, those new uh, cannons need to be trained. I suppose you wouldn't have to drill them all. You could just set it up so that they're only drilling. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch these out. That's a gusto. So just these ones will train for right now. And these guys should be sitting pretty close at 100, yeah. Uh, so that we'll have to pay for those. Uh, the Austrians want a real marriage. We'll accept that. Uh, and these guys, I don't think they're quite at 100 yet. So we'll go ahead and let them all drill for now. And what's this ship doing here? They're just sitting there. Is there a reason why they're just sitting there? I'm not entirely sure. Let's put them back out there, I suppose. Back in Alexandria. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here with this new cardinal thing, guys. We keep getting the new cardinal, uh, and it keeps putting us at eight. That's strange. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Yeah, but definitely a little bit, a little bit weird. So now that we're no longer at war, we can see how much it would cost to, oops, upgrade this. Apparently it's not as expensive as it was. Click to upgrade to a world port for 1,000. Okay, so it'll be 1,000. And I think we will, that'll give us uh, some better bonuses here. Yeah. Some very nice bonuses. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. It's gonna be 1,000 ducats, so it's not cheap. I think that's the highest level though. Okay. I don't know why I keep clicking on that. We don't have anything to buy until we get up to 50 there. I keep seeing 20, I'm like, oh, we can spend it. Uh, let's just do the diplomatic power here. All right. So again, 
just gonna be a little bit of period of peace while we uh, burn off all that new aggressive expansion we got. We got 30 with the French, we have uh, 58 with the Hungarians. It's quite a bit. Uh, of course, with the littler neighbor countries they have, it's gonna be very high, 113 here with the Swiss. I'm a little bit surprised that nobody's formed a coalition. I'm guessing they all have treaties with us, and that's the reason why we haven't seen them form any just yet. Uh, no rebel rebellions that we have to be worried about just yet. I uh, got 10% at one of them, but yeah, not too much of an issue. Uh, and we're starting to b build up our treasury again, so we might want to spend a bit there. Getting all these cores here, so it'll likely result in us being able to make something into a state. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll have to core the territory there. Alright, excellent. And we have converted another province. Okay, so how are we looking here? At 89, I assume that, yeah, these guys are all at 100, so let's just go ahead and split the army. And because it didn't work out the way I wanted it to last time, we'll just do it this way. Uh, we do need to see who's the leader. And then assign him. Alright, excellent. So we're not drilling anybody unnecessarily. Same thing here, there. No, we do need to keep these guys drilling. Alright, I think they were the last ones to come battle the war, so that's the reason why. Savoy so actually changed their capital. Interesting, I wonder why. They changed it to here. Where were they before? Like over here, perhaps? Maybe, I think they changed it just because that's the higher development. I'm not entirely sure why they changed it. More, more, uh provinces the knowledge of them has spread we can now see into the Pacific and we can see uh, all of Central America you see uh, what's been happening here with the tribes and Spain is actually on this side interesting they're just kind of all over the place actually yeah probably not the best most efficient way for them to be uh, colonizing there all right, I'm, I'm definitely interested to see how the Americas end up looking uh, once they they get all those finished up uh, so, grant export licenses. So we can grant them this. Um, it's interesting that this is an this is an option here. Uh, when or this is still an event when they've already added all that you know granting licenses and stuff and monopolies and and privileges uh, in here. So it does seem like this is again a case of of the event not being integrated into a feature, which is we see this all the time. Anyway, do we want to grant the privileges? Give us a national tax modifier. Burgers would lose loyalty. Nobles would gain loyalty. Savoy would like us more, and we'd lose a bit of legitimacy. Or we say privileges have to be earned. Savoy would like us less. We'd gain legitimacy, and the burgers would like us more. We're gonna do that one. Uh, so Savoy will lose a little bit of opinion with us, but we've got a pretty good opinion with them, anyways. Well, they actually, you know what? It's not quite as high as it used to be. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually a little bit surprised by that. It used to be a lot higher than that. Uh, apparently, you might need to have... Who are we currently improving relations with? The Papal States. So that's probably because they're on the outraged here, I assume. Because they're not... I don't think they're... Yeah, they're not allied with us. So it's got to be the, the outraged here. So yeah, the allies are just being idle. So we have it as, as high as we can get it with our allies. Uh, we could go ahead and... Tick up with the Venetians a bit more, though it looks like we already have it. Yeah, we already have it pretty high here as well. Could try and annex them, I suppose, and get control of that if we wanted to. They have been helpful in the war. They do have that big uh, fleet as well. We should, at the very least, wait until they deal with the rebellion problem. But yeah, we could annex them if we wanted to. Uh, and what is this? Uh, so we can get lower development costs in that province, or just get the admin power. We'll just do the admin power because I don't even know if we're gonna develop in that province anytime soon. Although we will be developing somewhere soon. We have the diplomatic power, so I guess we can go ahead and continue on trying to get uh, the damn 15%. Huh. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Because uh, I thought it was 15% or something like that, but here we are 15% on, on two and we're not getting the the market share bonus. So I'm not, I'm not sure how that works. Maybe you have to have no, because I was going to say we got to have double what the next country has, but yeah, we have double. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure uh, how it works when you get the bonus. 
That's strange. Uh, but yeah, I really want to get that paper bonus. We're also not getting the uh, bonus for the glass right now, unfortunately. Uh, so that's kind of a shame. Oops. My bad, guys. Let's go back to this. All right. Uh, well, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and continue with trying to get the damn uh, the paper one. We'll keep on working on that. And again, the way we do that is by uh, using our diplo power in those provinces. Uh, so let's look for trade goods here. Get that. Remember. Uh, yeah, that's right. We have. We actually have a new one here too. Uh, and Kona is a paper province, so that would probably be the best place for us to do it. It'd probably be the cheapest place for us to do it here. And remember, we can't do it in many of these provinces anyway because we've already ticked it up too damn high in many of these places all right so that gets the paper up a bit more let's see if that has any effect on where it gets us on the uh, strategic goods and I'm a little bit surprised we're at 16.6 percent but yeah we're still not uh, still not getting it Hungarians have insulted us our relationship sure has deteriorated quite quickly there. Yeah, we're at 16.6% and still not getting the training bonus. So, again, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how this works. If you guys know, I'd love to know how exactly the trading bonus works and why we're not getting it. Like, how much uh, does Portugal have? They have 20.3% here and they got the training bonus. Trading bonus, excuse me. Maybe it's 20%? Well, they're at 19.5. Yeah, I, I really don't know how it works on when you get it and when you don't. Uh, we are, of course, the production leader for paper, and we are well ahead in that. Oh, I didn't realize we were paused this whole time. My bad, guys. So, yeah, we are the production leader here. Uh, glass, yeah, I know we're close with the glass still. Uh, the wine, though, we might be able to get there. We really have to start focusing on that, which I haven't been because we already have the, uh, the trading bonus. But, yeah, if we want to get the production one, maybe we should. And drilling has stopped. Because, uh, fortunately, our leader died. We're at here. All right, so we might want to continue having these guys train up uh, by getting another leader. Or we could just say, screw it, and not train them. Uh, train them any further. Uh, so we don't have to pay for another leader that will likely die while we wait for peace. Yeah, I suppose that's what we'll do. Uh, unless we have a, a leader here that we could pull back. Yeah, uh, they're still training up these cannons. So I suppose it's fine if those cannons don't get fully trained. We don't have to pay for them right now. So I guess that's one benefit. And now we are earning quite a bit more money. We have just so much money. We're just swimming in it, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and spend some of it. Uh, we could build up our forts in our, like, uh, like in our capital here. That'd probably be good. Get like the larger forts and some of the, the like very important provinces. So yeah, the, the capital would definitely be one. I don't see any point on doing the ones down here since they're not under much threat. Uh, I don't know if we'll. I assume we would keep this province here being the fortification. Plus it has that modifier. So yeah, that will remain as a, a long-term fort. So we'll go ahead and build it there. Uh, do we want to build this one up higher? I don't know if we're going to keep that one as the the fortification so you know what that, that's fine we won't build any higher so i guess this is what we're gonna do uh we'll go and see if any uh places have naval batteries to where we can build them yeah we do actually have some places because if we already have the coastal battery uh then might as well get the naval battery as well since it doesn't take a slot up so we're gonna build one here uh i guess there's quite a few places to to build it i'm a little surprised with that that we're able to Hmm, wait a minute. Maybe we... Just take a look here. I don't know that that is actually the case. Yeah, we don't have naval battles there. Alright, I was thinking that would tell us like where we have them and where we can upgrade them. Maybe it's these ones. Yeah, replaces closest defense. So if it's this color, then you already have one there. Got it. But I don't think this really, like, helps that much. I mean, I guess we can get it in Rome since they have. Yeah, we're going to get it in Rome, but that's the only place we'll get it in. Uh, other things we could do here is start getting some shipyards uh, and trying to get some more force limit up in, like, provinces where we have a little bit of space so that we can have uh, a bit higher naval force limit here. 
and build more ships. Right now we can get more ships, so we will. Uh, I suppose we can, should finally get our transport fleet built up just a little bit. It doesn't have to be very large. Uh, maybe like 10 ships, I suppose. Yeah, we'll get 10 ships just so we have them if we ever need them. And we'll just have them mothballed until we do need them. We may not ever need them. I don't know. Some of these places are really expensive to build, so we'll try and build in the... Uh, or not expensive, but takes a long time is what I mean. So we have five of these currently in production. We can actually only get uh, six without hitting the cap, but because we're building those buildings, I think we'll be all right. So we'll go above it by one and just get this transport fleet built so that we, so again, so that we have it when we need it. Uh, Cause eventually we will need it, especially if we annex um, Venice, uh, then we'll need it. Can't go ahead and get the next idea. And this is uh, going to be a land uh, leader maneuver. So basically, I think we have one for everything because you got fire. We might not have, yeah, we got shock, we got fire. We don't have one for siege, I don't think. Uh, but we do have, let me just see here. There might be one in here. Now it looks like the only one we don't have a bonus for is siege. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get that bonus. It'll make new uh, generals we get even better. Uh, we do have that free advisor slot now. Uh, so let's see who we want to get here. Uh, so these are all going to be pretty expensive no matter what we do. We don't have any cheaper ones, unfortunately. So let's just do the level three with the production efficiency. All right. So once we get all the ships built, we'll get them moved over to here. Uh, Luca, where we have our transport fleet currently situated. I don't know why I put them there, but that's where they're at. I suppose it was probably just because it's next to that province. So get them all over there. Uh, let's see if these guys... Yeah, they still got quite a bit of training left to go. Okay. Uh, traveling Minstrel. Uh, so we can get some stability or some prestige. We're already maxed out for prestige almost. Uh, we could get a cheaper artist, though, and he would be... Is he cheaper? He is not cheaper. Okay, so there's no reason to get him then. So let's just go after the stability then. That does tick us up to level three stability. All right, fantastic. We do still have all the claims on the Swiss right now. Uh, but again, I think we should just probably burn off aggressive expansion, guys. Right, negative 22 there for the French and uh, negative 50 here for the Hungarians. They're just trying to avoid having another big uh, coalition against us. So the king is uh, a bold fighter. Uh, so he gets the land leader shock plus one. Uh, so that's going to make our generals even better under him. Uh, so that's excellent. Uh, so he has one negative, two positives. Pretty good overall. I'm surprised he got the bold fighter because of the fact that he's a zero military skill. But the traits in vanilla are not based on your skill at all. The skills just don't affect uh, the leader traits, unfortunately, which is kind of a bummer. It really should, but yeah, it does not. Uh, Paradox decided to not really make that feature have very much depth. All right, so this allows us to merge these guys. I know we built another one somewhere. Oh, right here. Let's go to get them moving over to there. Oh, and we do go to Moth Bomb first. I'm gonna keep, we keep forgetting to do that, I think. All right, so we get the rest of these ships done. And we're to another province. Um, are they converting our provinces? Yeah, they're converting our provinces. I think I read that before is that we had converted a province, uh, but I think they're actually currently converting our provinces right now. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, the reformation has moved and this is why, okay, Savoy did convert here. But yeah, the reformation, reformation has unfortunately moved into Northern Italy. We did avoid it for a long time. Uh, now we'll have to convert those provinces. Uh, of course, the, the problem here is going to be that they're going to have that modifier with the religious zeal for a long time. So we will not be converting them any time. It is very annoying that our capital was converted, though. That's a real shame. Yeah, that's a real bummer, guys. Uh, but whatever. Uh, we'll convert them as soon as we can. Uh, as soon as we're able to. So we could uh, go and invest in the admin tech now. This will allow force marching and the soldiers households, which allows you to get more manpower. And it's kind of a high cost though. Uh, we could just invest the development instead if we wanted to until it gets a little bit cheaper. And I think that's what we'll do. I don't really want to pay 919 uh, even for a bit of innovativeness. All right, so let's go ahead and I think we're going to, I'd like to open up another slot here. So we'd have to get the uh, development up to 60 again uh, or up to 60 next. So we'll put one into that. We won't spend too much on putting it into here. 
just the other locations where we might want to like for instance these ones where we've hit the double in these locations and we can't increase them any further I think that would be a, a good location also do Rome uh, they have paper too all right so spent some of that admin power and that will also I think allow us to then increase the them even further with the dipple power for the paper and let's go ahead and do up here just because it's cheaper all right excellent so we'll see how that has an effect on the paper with this next month here so we're at 17.5 percent of the market share still no trading bonus yeah i guess i just don't know how it works uh, but I, I am noticing that we are now the production leader for wine. So our efforts there have helped. Excellent. Uh, so we've been trying to get that production leader on the wine for a long time. We're also the production leader on livestock. So we succeeded there as well. All right. That's nice. Okay. Uh, so I think that's probably all we'll be able to get production leader for anytime soon. Yeah. Cause we kind of looked at all these other ones here and we're not even competing in most of these. Oh, iron with our new iron province we're actually competing on the iron so we could try and build up there now I don't know how many iron provinces we have we'd have to take a look and see uh, this is not economic trade goods here and then we'll just want to click oops on the iron so we actually got two iron provinces uh, from that one war and so that's the reason why we are now competing uh, so we could try and uh, compete further uh, by building ourselves manufactories here, which I don't even know if we're able to build the manufactory there. Looks like that's a no. Yeah, I cannot build any more provinces or any more uh, uh, buildings in these provinces. They are all filled up. We already have the weapons manufactory though, so that's not a problem. And we have the we weapons manufactory there as well, so we've already done it. We already have manufactories there. Now uh, let's go and get all these guys moving. And what's this guy doing? Oh, he's protecting trade. Oh, he's hunting pirates in general. Okay. Let's get all these guys coming on over here. And that should have us at the 10 ships, hopefully. And let's just take these guys out here. Oh, I can't. Psh, yeah, can't do it that way. Mothball. Mothball, now merge. So just waiting on the uh, last two ships here. Mothball these so we don't have to pay for these damn things. Uh, and looks like we're waiting on one more ship. Perhaps. There, there we go. All right, so it's gonna merge all these. And that is our transport fleet now. So I do have a little bit of a transport fleet, just in case we happen to need them. Uh, I could go ahead and speed this up some. Now, again, we're swimming in money right now. At this point, I don't even know what to spend money on, because uh, we have so much of it. Uh, we, we have more room to build on the force limit, so I guess that's what we'll do. Uh, we could always get... Uh, let me take a look and see how we're doing. Uh, we have 16 light ships, 25 galleys. So could always go up to, to you know 20 light ships, but let's get more galleys, guys. I feel like that's what we need. And you know what? We might actually be able to, to upgrade these guys, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade these. This is going to increase their abilities by quite a bit. And it does upgrade the flagship. All right, excellent. I wasn't sure about that. Uh, but yeah, it does upgrade the flagship. That's nice. And look at how cheap it is to upgrade these just because they're galleys. It's just another benefit to the, the galleys, guys. Uh, so let's go up to a fleet of 30 galleys. We should dominate the seas with this fleet. Or at least dominate the Mediterranean Sea, I should say. Uh, so growth of cities attracts serfs. So we can say we have to accept this. We'll lose one base tax and gain one base tax in Milan, which I'm okay with. That's actually well worth it since... Uh, have compared the cost of increasing the uh, you know the development here you know this one's 179 it's gonna be a lot more than it would be in the other province uh, serfs belong on the turf uh, we, we're gonna say this one uh, yeah nobles won't be happy about it but I don't care they're not happy about anything so we're building the ships uh, we still have a lot of cap on our on our army we could in fact go in and get another army if we wanted to but why pay for them we don't really need them we have a pretty large army compared to the rest of the world we can take a look and see just how large our army is compared to everybody else uh, if we just want to see the total here and we currently have the fifth largest army 
Uh, and, oops, God damn it! I keep hitting the WSD keys, trying to move around the map. Uh, so yeah, we have the, the fifth largest army, and I guess we might have taken some casualties here or something, because yeah, we uh, should have a, a full number here. I'm guessing we took some casualties somewhere. I don't, I don't know how we took casualties, but uh, I might need to check that check that out. Are we taking attrition somewhere? We might be. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that here in a second. Uh, but yeah, we have the fifth largest army, and we're only sl slightly smaller than France's army. Uh, Spain, obviously, is a little bit larger, as is the Ottomans. Ottomans have a lot of troops. Uh, but overall, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good. Uh, so let me just take a look if we're, we're facing any attrition in these provinces. We're actually facing attrition here. Okay, so that's probably where we're taking the, the casualties there. Uh, so let's go ahead and have... We'll have these 3,000 move over here. And we got some global trade power. And then these guys can continue training up now. See how these guys are doing? Yeah, they don't need the training. And they shouldn't be taking attrition now. So yeah, we've just been taking attrition this whole time. I mean, it's not that big of a deal because we are at max manpower. Uh, but yeah, it's something to consider. Let me see if we're taking attrition here. We are not. We have we are just under the cap there. Uh, but you'll notice that we do have less men here. So, hmm, yeah. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna split all the armies off that are training. Just so we don't have any issues. I knew hitting the 25,000 could cause some issues. Shouldn't be any problems here. And I don't know what's going on with the Cardinals. I think we're just like slowly losing them and then gaining them again. I don't know. It's kind of odd, frankly. But this is actually going to be the end of today's episode. Uh, I'll be a little bit shorter than we've been doing. Uh, but yeah, it's still a pretty long video compared to other people's videos, I suppose. So yeah, we're going to go and leave off here. Still just burning off aggressive expansion, guys. If you guys have any tips on stuff we could do, like with our money, uh, obviously we got a lot of it. Uh, and I don't really want to build more more troops. Uh, so, I mean, we're, we're building, we're constructing buildings. So, so that is uh, one thing to do with it. Uh, but yeah, as far as, I mean, I guess we can upgrade all the castles uh, if we wanted to. I mean, we have, we're just swimming in money, so I suppose there's not really any reason not to. I don't know if that increases their maintenance. Looks like it does. So it might be something you won't, don't want to do in a province unless you're sure it's going to to be attacked. Uh, but yeah, that's always an option. We've already looked at a lot of these buildings, though, and they're not really getting as much. Uh, sellers is never a problem. So that's, I don't see any reason for getting docks. Uh, we could always get more shipyards, I suppose, uh, to continue increasing the force limit so we could build up an even larger navy. One thing I haven't shown at all is the hegemons. Uh, so when it comes to... The economic hegemon. We only need a monthly income of 1,000. Now I don't know what our monthly income is. Clearly not 1,000. Uh, we'd have to look at our income. I'm not sure economy maybe. Okay, so that's not how I want to look at this. These are all charts. I just want to see what our our total economy economy is. It might just better to do it this way. So we're at 139.79. And that's per month. So you've got to have a stupid amount of money. <laughs> wow. Uh, these are all supposed to be like late game things, but I didn't expect it to be that that high. So we won't be able to do that anytime soon. Uh, just looking at other ones, you got to have 250 heavy ships, so we won't be naval hegemon. Military hegemon, you got to have... I mean, I guess they all have very high requirements. Again, this is supposed to be like a late game thing. But I did want to show it to you guys because I hadn't talked about it yet. And uh, for the military uh, hegemon, you have to have 1,000... Yeah, you'd have to have a total of 1,000,000, so a million men under arms, basically. That is, a, wow, that is a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. So again, that's late game stuff, so we're not going to get anytime soon, but I hadn't showed it yet, so I figured I'd talk about it real quick. So we're going to go and end the episode here, guys. Uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you know, we continue to expand our lands here, and uh, should hopefully be able to get Naples, and it's going to take like two more wars, I do expect. And we won't be able to do anything until we burn off some of this damn aggressive expansion, which we do have quite a bit of it. Uh, so it's going to take us a while longer to get this burned off. Uh, but if you did enjoy the episode, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.